Man pleads guilty to stealing mercury from an abandoned Holy lab. Holy shit. Selling and spilling it in four places across Houston in spring. So, uh, fucking... Whoop, hold up. Mercury dollar. drives you hey, crazy. Really? It does. It, it is extremely toxic, man. That is not oh. good. That is not good. So, uh, Did poor man. Little, poor little man's, bit of trivia. Hmm? Little What's bit of that? trivia. Did you know that the Mad Hatter went mad because in old ancient Britain, they used to put mercury around the uh, rims of hats and it would drive people mad. And that's why the Mad Hatter is mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exposure to mercury. Yeah, exactly. Exposure to mercury. Oh, you don't want to do that. Well, explain the law. This guy doesn't look any less crazy. So poor man's Post Malone here, apparently. <laughs> by the way, can we look at the guy on the left of the picture? Huh? <laughs> he noticed the picture was about to be taken and he yeah. was not, he was very upset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so broke ass post Malone decides to break into an abandoned lab. Can I just say how awesome does Houston continue to be? Abandoned laboratory. Sweet. Abandoned lab? <laughs> so he breaks it. By the way, sounds like a super villain's lair. Chauncey in the chat says post Malone is poor man's post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those Bud Light commercials. So stupid. Uh, okay, so <laughs> this guy breaks into a fucking lab, steals mercury, and then he tried to go to gas stations and hold it in his hand all liquid and swish it around and convince people that it was liquid silver. He made a whole $40, but now he's getting charged with not only the uh, trespassing, the theft, uh, and the, like, uh, what was it? Spilling of hazardous, like some kind of hazmat charge. Oh yeah, ha some hazardous waste charge. That's bad news. So, uh, you know, all I'm saying is, man, maybe you should have worn gloves. I'm just saying maybe you should have worn gloves. You're gonna be in prison. You're not gonna have access to top flight medical care. And now you've had heavy exposure to mercury. How long do you predict yeah. before you get more face tattoos, dummy? Just That's saying. gonna happen Dumb. immediately. Yeah. And this is a very poor choice overall for a way to be self-employed. I understand, man. I totally get it. You want to be able to work for yourself, start a business. You got a great idea. You work and save your whole life to fuck. You know, you forego all of these things so that you can open a fucking business and you put all this work into doing it. Meanwhile, this motherfucker is making everybody look bad by stealing mercury from a fucking laboratory. But not to worry so much since your recent uh, events in the world have almost assured ruin your business hopefully there's a little bit of help out there for you self-employed and considering a ppp loan there's good news for you okay so what's supposed to be happening here is some of your tax dollars are supposed to be going to help exactly this small businesses who have had big trouble due to being locked up at their houses and not being able to function commercially and they're, they're making ways to, to oh, hold up hey hey i'm down here man till down down uh they're they're trying to make way to to give these people now it's not a forgiven loan they do have to pay it back but give motherfuckers at least some chance if they want it it kind of sounds like it might be a good idea up front oh wait a minute we're talking about the federal government here small business administration and Tre treasury shift course will disclose ppp borrowers over 150,000. so the problem with this is that they put this money out there but they didn't tell anybody who got the fucking money and how much are we talking about here 660 billion dollars damn okay Ow. so they're suggesting that since those are our tax dollars that there should be some level of transparency on where those dollars go. I hate to say this, but I'm inadvertently proving myself right from something I said earlier this week. Anybody remember this guy's fucking ring? Uh-huh. And here the fuck we are. Those PPP loans that are supposed to be helping small businesses that are down due to coronavirus and nobody fucking had any idea where they went. Surprise! Guess who they went to? This fucking villainous Members looking motherfucker of right here. Congress. God damn, dude.